Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to diagnose and replace the element in your electric oven. The main symptom of this problem is that the oven won't be heating, but the thermostat will be running, so it'll be kicking in and telling it to send power to the element, but the element won't be producing any heat because it's broken inside. So to test that it's not the thermostat, simply turn the knob on the thermostat and you'll hear a faint click. So that click means that the thermostat is kicking in and you should see a little red light if you have one coming on. That means the power is going to the element. But if it's producing no heat, it means that the element is gone. So what we have to do is we have to take out the cover in the back of the oven and have a look at the element itself. So to get at this element, we have a couple of screws holding this cover in. There's two in this case. And this cover comes off. We can now see the element. We can instantly see that there's a lot of corrosion over to the right of the element and we can see a crack in it. So that's going to tell us that the element is blown but we'll test it anyway once we take it out. So to take it out there's three screws holding it in. So I can pull the element straight out. We can see on the back that there are two spade terminals that send power into it. So we pull those off. And there's also an earth that has a little crimp plug on the end. So we need to screw it off. Now that we've this element out, we can see that it's in pretty bad shape. There's a lot of corrosion and it's actually, we can see it's split. Split in two. So that's why it's not heating. Sometimes you can have an element that's actually gone but doesn't look too bad. So it's not covered in corrosion or you can't see any holes or cracks. So the way to test that is you get a multimeter and put it onto resistance. And you read the resistance across the two terminals. If it was working properly, we would see a resistance of about 30 ohms for a good element. See, here we can see we're on OL, which means unlimited resistance. If we put on to continuity, we don't hear any beep, which we should hear if it's a good element. So here you can see we have our new element, and we're going to measure the resistance across this, just to see how they compare. First of all, we have continuity, which means that the wire is connected to the whole end inside. So there's no shorts or no breaks. And we've got 32, 32 ohms, which is spot on. So we're going to put this in. It's the reverse procedure as taking it out. 